you come in to our spa I mean and we're blessed to have it it's the the more hilarious part of it is we bumped into each other our paths crossed I was bound and determined to offer the community here the authentic Ayurvedic treatments Dr. Acharya is the expert and he was more than happy to provide the expertise for that so it is a, I mean, it's a second happy partnership in this, <laughs> in this whole process. So, so you know, you were telling me about how you met Dr. Acharya earlier. You must share that with our viewers. Wow. <laughs> well, here we are, you know, best of intentions. We, we, we love the whole concept of Ayurveda. It's, you know, massage plus. It's funny, it's funny to say that, but it is amazing how beneficial massage can be. But there's much more to it than that. You know, a massage is a massage. In Indonesia, the culture is famous for its massages. What makes ours different? Mm -hmm. You know, we use very specific oils that are constituted based on your, your, each person individually. You know, what is the most suitable herb or base oil for each, each of us has our own separate constitution. Dr. Acharya is is famous I mean he could look at you right there and say all right this is the oil that you need to be massaged with to make you feel better and it works it absolutely works it the or the technique of the massage we're lucky Dr. Acharya has trained the therapists and it's it's not just a massage with your fingers it's a massage with your heart and soul and our therapists do that they practice meditation they do yoga and when they place their hands upon you they intend to heal you and from what we've we've been experiencing so far they actually do you know people walk in to the room they're exhausted they're tired they're stressed they're unhappy and they walk out they're rejuvenated and relaxed and ready to start again so I couldn't possibly have done it without Dr. Acharya who is okay. Indonesian <laughs> and is the expert on our Indian uh, practice so it's um, quite ironic but blessed. We'll take a break here and we'll come back and talk a little bit more with Dr. Acharya and Bina and how you met him. Oh right, <laughs> how we met, yes. <laughs> and if viewers if you have any feedback and comments you can SMS to us at 4628 and SMS please write QTV space ITV and your comments and we'll see you right after the break pick up the phone and thankfully Dr. Acharya spoke English because as much time as I've been here I haven't been able to learn the language but and he invited me to come over and talk <coughs> I had no idea what to expect but I went over there and and there's this Indonesian man who knows everything there is to know about Ayurveda who loves it with the passion and all he wants to do is spread the word he told me then that he has a clinic and an ashram oh you right. have an ashram here yes I where have in ashram. Bali uh, actually Bali also we have the one and in you have a and you have an ashram here in Jakarta in Jakarta well. yeah, in uh, Chalanda the small ashram, mini ashram. But uh, how many people do you have at the ashram? Uh, the ashram we have uh, 12 people, but every day people come in, go and come. So I see. Have uh, offer Indonesia they come for a consult, whatever. And where did you uh, learn about Ayurveda? Did you have formal training, formal education in Ayurveda? Yes, I have. Uh, I'm study in Tanjapur University in uh, Ab uh, Arya de Varsa in uh, Tamil Nadu. Oh, in South India, Tamil yeah, Nadu. South India. Okay. Yes, yeah. So you've done a doctorate there? Uh, yes, I've done doctor. This uh, I took uh, I took for my uh, master yoga and meditation, also in uh, Ayurveda. In Ayurveda, I yes. believe you also studied in Colombo. Yes, I'm studying in Colombo University in uh, alternative medicine mm -hmm. about uh, naturopathy and Ayurveda. Naturopathy. Yes, naturopathy. Yeah. So you're also a naturopath and an Ayurvedic doctor. Yes, because uh, naturopathy and Ayurveda is very close. Naturopathy is a uh, Actually, it's developed in more in Eastern in Germany, mm -hmm. but uh, this uh, actually coming from India. I see. Yes, I'm also study in uh, Gurukul, in my uh, guru also and uh, benefit in Ayurveda. His acharya in uh, Pitam Ashram in uh, uh, Allahabad, Triveni, Saraswati Ashram. Yeah.
Bina. You are the perfect example of an entrepreneur to create something out of nothing. <coughs> you came, you landed here in Jakarta two years ago with, with nothing, no concept in mind and today you have your own spa with a great Ayurvedic doctor there. And, but what, if you look back to your two years, what, ca what is the one thing that stands out? Being able to get up and offer something that is beneficial to the community at large is the most worthwhile thing a person can have. I wake up happy every day and I go home exhausted but happy every night. It's, it's, one, it's absolutely amazing. It's wonderful. I'm surrounded by healing and positive energy and good people. I have Acharya Ji, I have all the people who work with us and it's, it has really been a turning point in my life. It has made my whole entire life utterly and completely meaningful. I'm delighted, I'm blessed and grateful for it. What do you plan to do next now that you have this set up <laughs> and now you're on a roll and what, what is next? Oh, this is still very new, it's still a baby and it needs some looking after but I mean there's no limit to what we can do if we can open more Ayurvedic spas and, and spread you know Indonesia is a huge country it's, uh, there's, there's so many places that we can go perhaps Bali Bali is, is a great place it's easy for people to accept Ayurveda and although they claim that they have Ayurveda quite honestly the authentic Ayurveda is not easily found here in Indonesia and uh, if we can do that in Bali we'll be delighted or any other part of Indonesia where we can spread <coughs> the goodness of what India has to offer. It's, it's great to be, you know, I, as an Indian, I have to say, an Indian who lived abroad for most of her life, I'm delighted to have that opportunity. I'm so proud to be able to spread something that is so valuable in our culture. So in Bali, I believe you also have a forest from where you pick up the herbs that are yes. used at the mm. spa. Yeah. So you must be going pretty often to pick all those herbs. Yeah, I am go to Bali most uh, every month, two times, three times, four times, don't know. Some, uh, they had connect, must go to Bali and pick something. Yeah, yeah many times. <laughs> yeah. So would, what would you say, is your spa a healing center? We have people every day who walk in and they're acquaintances or even strangers and they come in and they leave the world behind, they leave it outside the doors, they come in, they relax, they have just a massage which is not even just a massage but they come out, they're smiling and they leave friends so it's, it is a healing center emotionally you know coming from, coming from the United States which is a drug culture I mean everything there, the answer to everything is pop a pill see a, see a psychiatrist, go to this doctor, go to that doctor this is a far better way of healing that's you know great. Um, it's you know where you can come into a place that's calm and peaceful a sanctuary so to speak leave your troubles behind be treated you know by therapists who know what they're doing and who the oils penetrate deep deep inside you, know, you are obviously very passionate I, I, about I I love I'm, I'm amazed at what it can do I'm amazed at, at the value of it that you know, it sounds so very simple, but Dr. Acharya, you know, being the expert, he can see somebody walk in the door who really doesn't feel well. Maybe they don't even know they don't feel well, but he could tell them you need to eat something or drink something or not eat something and have a massage and you will feel better. So yeah, I'd say we're a healing center. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to our show, Dr. Acharya and Dina for coming here and telling us about your journey from nothing to a brand new spa which you've turned into a healing center. Thank you for having me. It's, um, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here with you, Poonam. Always <laughs> a pleasure to be with you. But it's, it, is, it is great to have the opportunity to be able to spread the word. Please come. Please come. <laughs> Please come. <Do> healing. <laughs> Experience it for yourself. You know, it's it's hard. It's harder to describe. It's a lot easier to feel. So you need to come in and feel the energy, and feel the healing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for watching our show, India Talks today. If you have any feedback or comments, do remember to SMS to us at four six two eight.